Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of the Hardcore. I mean, the PAL world. I mean, the PAL core. I mean, the hard world. Welcome to episode 7 of this series. Hey, you're on my you're on my chest. Can you move? You, you, go, go cook. Damn it. <laughs> These things love just standing around, being annoying and useless. Oh, Tombat, right. In the last episode, yesterday, I'm quite certain that I got a couple of these. One, two, and I got depressos too. Yeah, not bad. So, hmm, the only downside to getting rid of the cat is that the cat helps me craft things. Whatever, cat god. Tombat in. That's how we do here. We have two monkeys getting wood. Not bad. Well, it says they're idle right now. How dare they? And all of my tombats are too? Everyone is taking a break? Why? Also, they're all hungry. <laughs> What's the problem? See, look, berries right here, and eggs. Seems like it really takes them a while to eat that. The animation is slow. Hmm. Am I having a problem of them not being able to reach it? Looking at their hunger stats? Nah, they're fine. They're just fine. Now we have an extra tombat here, and I don't know what to do with it. I need more space at the base. Can I make that medieval medicine workbench? Well, only one way to find out. Crossbow. Hmm. Metal spear. That sounds good. Medieval workbench. Wood, nails, and some other crap. I think I can make it. Let's just keep stacking up this line of crafting benches. Why not? Get Lee's bunk on that craft? Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. You want food? <laughs> then you craft this bench with me. Yeah, look at how happy they are. They know they're gonna get fed tonight. Can't say the same for the rest of them. Ooh, balls. What am I lacking to make more of these? Wood? Why? Why am I lacking so much wood? Maybe I should make a metal axe and just go get a bunch myself. Hmm. No. No, no, no. Base upgrade. I need a cooler box and a... sphere? Workbench? What? What is that? What do? Let's see. Cooler? I'm gonna need another level for the sphere workbench. So for now, we just do the cooler. We need ice organs for that, though. And if we want ice organs, we... have to beat the ever-living crap. Out of some ice pals or water pals, whatever. Now, the ideal way to do that would be on the back of another pal. Use my friends to get more friends. So, let's craft this Aethir saddle. Please, punk. What are you doing over there? You're part of the A team. You work with me. I <laughs> just. I'm just gonna be here making the job harder on him. Yep, you keep going to the table. It's just. This is all to make you stronger, better at your work. Just. <laughs> It's like having a boss just pester you the entire time you're trying to work your 9 to 5. <laughs> oh god, this takes forever. <laughs> this really takes forever. I need more pals that can craft faster. I also need my pals to stop taking so many damn breaks. We've only got one monkey cutting wood. And ever- Wait, where, where are you going, Lee's Punk? You put those berries down. <laughs> Don't. Your job is over here with me. We're doing the important stuff. Let the plebeians handle all of that. Hmm. At some point here, I'm probably gonna want some kind of better food. The sanity of your pals essentially dictates the work speed and how often they'll take breaks. So, you want to feed them things that will restore their sanity as much as possible. So when they rarely go to eat, it feeds them a lot so they won't eat often. And it gives them lots of sanity so they'll keep working quickly. Or at least normal speed. I'm gonna have to take a look at the cooking recipes and see which ones actually give sanity. You know what, I'll do that now. Why not? Let the Lee's Punk do the crafting while I take a peek. Take these berries. Ah, well if you cook the berries, if you see on the right side there, it says nutrition 21 underneath that, sanity 1. So the baked berries on their own are already better than the normal berries. Nutrition, they won't eat as often or take as long eating. And sanity, they recover one. Hmm. Looking at these, they don't actually show the stats. Let's make one fried egg. Cook it up. Mm mm mm. Call me Ramsey. Fried egg, what do you do? Sanity one as well. So it's the same thing, basically. Let's make them eat that first. Sure. Eat it up, buddy. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, inside the feed box, the food on the furthest left is what they will eat first. So they will go through these baked berries, they just ate one. And then they will eat the fried eggs when the berries are all gone. And then they'll move on to normal berries, etc, etc. Let's see what a grilled chicken tastes like. Mmm. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. The Hell is simply in reverence to the slave labor. 
I mean, the friendship, the teamwork. That's what it is. It's just great communication between friends. This isn't at all slave labor. Hmm, bread, baked mushrooms. It seems like cooking things. Oh wait, we just cooked up chicken. What does that do? Nutrition 50, sanity 1. Hmm. I think so far, the baked berries are actually going to be the best bet. That's a tongue twister and a half. So I think I'm going to craft 350 baked berries. Because if you look at the progress bar, I think I pointed this out previously, but it does slowly cook on its own. So we'll let that happen over time. Did I do what I needed to upgrade the base yet? No, I have an empty slot here. Oh, what to fill it with. Another tombat for metal. We are running low on wood. Hmm. We should always have at least one. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Here's what we'll do. I'm going to remove this Lee's Punk from my team. Put in the second Ichthyr. Conceited. Makes his defense lower. Gross. We'll do that, and now we're going to put in one more woodcutter for now. Later on, I'm going to replace him with another, well, miner. Oh, the saddle's done. Wonderful. See, that's the best way to do it. Assign some kind of craft and then get out of there. Let the pals do the work for you. That's the true endgame. Now, where? I need to build a cooler, but I need other things for that. Straw pal bed. I need more of these. Right in this corner. Yes, right there, here. We'll just craft a couple of them. Why not? Insufficient. Oh, out of wood. Again. Seems like it's going to be a non-stop problem. Well, we're going to let them do that. There's the first craft. That's the one that actually matters. Sort out the pal deck. All right. Let's ride our lovely little friend here. Yep, here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing can actually... Oh, my left clicked and did a lot of nothing. This thing is supposed to be capable of cutting trees. Let me look at its... <laughs> I gotta do that every now and again. I don't know why. I just get these urges. So it says can be ridden right here. And it also says can perform a double jump while mounted. And the last part, increase efficiency of cutting trees. Now, it doesn't say while well mounted, so maybe it's not really made for cutting trees. Hmm. If it is, then it's bad at it, because I don't get much wood out of the ordeal. Interesting. I do need more wood. You know what? Fine. We'll craft the metal axe. Let's do that. Let the leaves bunk out. Let him do work things. And over here, metal axe. Behold, my metal ass. <laughs> Oh, well, this thing crafts much faster than the saddle, that's for sure. Hmm, one of my tombats has apparently become depressed. Let's switch him out for another one. Who? This one? You. Get rid of you. Replace with that one. There you go. Now you get to mining. Wonderful. <laughs> ah, labor. Of the non-slave variety. Now what did I need? Ice. I need ice organs. What would be the ideal way to get that? Most likely through catching pals, more than anything. Let's go ahead and get the stone ass over here. You know, what else could we craft while doing this? Metal spear? Hmm, I need wood for that. Of course I do. I need to cut a handful of trees. Because apparently my monkeys can't do it themselves. They're constantly taking breaks and in poor condition, apparently. And when they are working, it's at a very slow pace. Hmm, roasted chicken. That goes for you too, chicken. If you don't keep up... Keep laying that ovary excess. I'm gonna cook you up too. Now I'm hoping that's gonna be enough wood for a while. I got 170 all by my lonesome. I had no pals to help me out. But why is there wood over here? What? <laughs> why? Who did that? Who thought it was a good idea? Also, I, I can't climb up here. Can I put walls? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. Just put a couple walls right here and make it easier for me to climb back up. It's gonna look a little janky, but whatever. I'm not worried about the aesthetics right now. Save that for later. Aesthetics is always supposed to be more of an end game problem. Huh. I guess we're out of ore to cook. Let me see if that's true. 39 ingots and... Oh, there's a little bit. Always prioritize that. Box sparks. Always. Ingots are life. Especially your life. If you're not cooking ingots, you can say goodbye to it. You know, I... Mm, oh, God. I just... <laughs> How very like me. I just did all of that with... <laughs> oh. 
I did all of that with the stone axe instead of the metal axe. Well, now, now we know if we go to cut wood ourselves, we can do it much quicker than, than that. Oh, uh, man. Oh, God, I need more pallidium, too. Well, let me repair my stone axe, and I'll do that. I need to get a nice mass of those. It seems like a genuinely good idea. We'll bring some pal spheres, catch what we can, and then go down the ravine, getting as much pallidium as possible. Or, hmm, I would like to have more pal spheres before I explore too much. Yes, yes. We'll try to get around 50 pal spheres today. I guess that's the goal. And once we have all of that, then we can consider exploring. I have heard tale of a particular pal named Vixie, or Vax Vixie? I believe Vixie. And if you have a Vixie in your base assigned to the ranch, it will slowly produce pal spheres, the generic pal spheres, but pal spheres nonetheless. And honestly, that's pretty great. Let's take the normal berries and keep them on me. That's my food now. They can have the bougie stuff. But yes, let's go ahead and make our way down to the ravine here. Obviously catch anything that might be worth catching, but our primary goal is to get as much paldium as possible. Down we go, dear. <laughs> Perhaps my depth perception is poor. I really thought that I was about to die there. Let's go for a little ride. Anything over here worth catching? Tansy, I don't think I have ten of you yet, so perhaps I'm about to. See how good this antler charge does for damage. Oh, two good is what it does for damage. Hey, that one's doable. And I can aim from the back of the mount, which is great. Interesting. <laughs> I just threw my pal sphere and its its projectile that it just shot launched the pal sphere away. That's a new experience. Oh yeah. Now we're getting that real arc experience where we can es essentially just use the power of our friends to make more friends, like you do. Hmm, how good is this metal one compared to the other? Oh, it took very few hits to actually get the pallium. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think in the night time I might go around and look for more Tombats. Because, yes, we do have plenty of them now, but it would certainly be... Do I have ten of these? Hmm. Is there an easy way to tell? In the pal deck, perhaps? Doesn't say. Oh, complete. Ten out of ten in the lower right here. Got them and the chickens, and I think that's the only creature. So this thing can just die. Free wool. But there are character traits that the Tombats can have individually that might make them worth having over the ones I have now. Specifically ones that have a resistance to losing sanity, because in my experience those Tombats are quick to give up. They go on breaks constantly, they get depressed quickly. And it's very annoying. Very annoying. Ooh, you know this parachute is actually pretty convenient. I haven't really used it much. The only real downside to do my base is that I have to parachute down and to go up well, I guess two downsides then. I have to parachute to go down unless I want to take a boatload of fall damage and probably die. And the other part is that I basically have to fast travel up unless I want to spend five minutes crawling up a mountain. And I don't think any of us want to do that. I certainly don't. Not at all. Pickthier. Go kill things. Murder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was only a thousand damage. Pretty small, simple, standard... There's not many living creatures around here, is there? there? really isn't. How unusual. Oh, there's a lamb- oh no, never mind, that's the one that already got wasted. <laughs> Just getting set down the river. Oh, I see elephants. Alright, let's call this guy back. Oh, you're not escaping me. Just didn't want him to kill them. No, power shot. Yes, and we need that bow. Where is it? And 97%, he's basically ours already. Now let's get this one. Oh. Ooh, accidentally one-shot it. Well, it is only level one after all. Oop, accidentally killed that one too. Wonderful. Now, the Tansy. Yeah, he's a little bit tankier. <laughs> this is so much more effective than when I was doing it myself. This is easy. Free XP. The only downside is that I can't really mine these rocks on the back of the Aegthyr, which is too bad. I am getting quite the mess of Paldium from this, though. It's much better than it was before. It was two or three hits of these Paldium ore to actually mine one of them. And with the Metal Pickaxe, it's pretty close to one hit per ore. So the only problem now is just finding the Paldium, running to it. Running downstream, essentially. Now, 
It is. Close enough to night time that I think it would be best to start... Ooh, berries. I think it would be best to start looking around for more of those tom bats. So, we're going to explore, do a little massacring, and at the same time, catch anything that we don't have ten of. Perhaps? Hmm, sure. We'll do that. Oh, okay. If they are asleep, you will absolutely destroy them. It seems to be about double damage. Yikes. So we're going to want to use the bow for these sleeping ones. There we go. Catch this one. 86%. Pretty good. Hey, stay in your balls. Oop, shot the bow for no reason. Another tansy. Wonderful. Good old Paldium. Ooh, a lift monk. And it's asleep. Mmm. Let's get on the Aethir and get a little sneak attack on it, see what happens. Actually, no. <laughs> we'll just use the bow. It's the most guaranteed method to not kill it. And 78%. Pretty good chance. Good odds. And we caught it. Hooray. If the percent is high enough, you can usually feel comfortable to just walk away. Elephant. Mm, gotta make sure not to kill it. There we go. 90%? Yeah. See, when it's that high, you can feel free to just walk away. Consider it yours. Looks like we need another six of those elephants. And here's two of them. One... Oh, that one's dead. <laughs> Nailed it. The celery. I don't think we have any of those. Let's focus on the elephants first, though. Hmm. 92%. 96%. Yeah. Easy peasy. Hmm. Should we catch these celerays? All I've been getting is pal fluids. I was hoping to get those ice organs needed for the cooler. Oop, accidentally killed it again. <laughs> I have a bad track record. I also only have six pal spheres left. It's too bad. Okay, we'll try it right about here at the, what, one-sixth health mark? And we caught it. Again, only pal fluids. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. Suppose I'll catch a couple more, then I'll have to head back to the base to make more pal spheres. We'll catch one more. And then it's pal sphere time. <laughs> If you catch them while they're sleeping, it's very easy to get them. Shooting them in the back seems to have a better stagger rate. Well, I just leveled up. This is why we catch new friends. All right, that is 1,000 carry weight. So now we can go ahead and stop putting points in that. Our new priority should probably just be health. Realistically, if we were to think of the end game, we're not going to want to put any points into work speed. I'd rather just have all of my friends do the work for me so I won't be doing the crafts. This is a heavy Paldium-based episode. Getting as much of this ore as I can. But it's something we need to do. Eventually, I know that you can... Ooh, Pinkalette. I know these give ice organs. We have something new to catch. Again, I won't be hitting it with the deer because the deer hits too hard. But this, yes. There we go. Ball, 70%, pretty good. What do you got? No? Damn. I only have two spheres left. That's a problem. I don't think I'm going to be catching anything else, but I do see more pangolets in the distance, and I need their organs. Care to donate to the cause, friends? I appreciate it. You're saving lives. Just mine, really, but a life. You are saving a life. The most important one. Mine. This is interesting. I appear to have found some small islands. Where am I on the map? Oh. <laughs> I've gone definitely not in the direction that I thought I was going. Oh, I'd like to have pal spheres, but I don't. Mm. Syndicate thug, a sleeping human. Now a dead human. <laughs> well, they drop ammo. Interesting. Is that... what is that? Oh, there's a fast travel point. This, I believe, is a little boss arena. Yes. So I can go in here. If I look at the map, it'll show me. I can go in here and fight a level 23 Catrus, a sort of boss pal. And that Catrus will have slightly better stats than a normal one in the wild. We haven't even seen a normal one yet, but that boss one is stronger and you can't catch it, which is pretty cool. I think, at least. I was hoping that these creatures would drop something worth mentioning, but mm, not really. It's a whole lot of hoopla. So, let's go ahead and just fast travel to the base. No need to mess around with the plebeians. I didn't catch much in this 
particular episode, but I did do something very important, and that is get more Paldium. So I can craft 50 spheres. I didn't think that I would get exactly enough for it. <laughs> I did say that that was my goal, too. But that was the objective, 50 Pal spheres. Now the only resource that's lacking in the base... Ooh, if you look here, the ore that I had mined prior has respawned at the base. Wonderful. But the only resource that I'm lacking is wood. For whatever reason, the monkeys absolutely refuse to cut trees properly. It's like as soon as I leave the base, they just don't work anymore. Also, this, <laughs> this metal axe absolutely deletes these trees. They do not stand a chance. But this has been Episode 7 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, 